so dramatic. What's up hoes, I'm back. Today I'm going to draw my childhood superhero, Darna. But let me introduce her to you, if you guys don't know her. You uncultured bitches, before I introduce Darna, I'm letting you all know that I put timestamps in the description if you are not interested to know her. Darna was the first Asia superheroine created by the late Filipino comics legend, Mars Ravello, and the artist, Nestor Redondo. She first appeared in Bullock Lack magazine, in year 1947 as Varga. Then later, Mars Ravello renamed his creation as Darna, because the name Varga was owned by the Bullock Lack magazine. Darna came from the word Adarna, the Philippines' mythical bird. Mars Ravello hired Nestor Redondo to redesign Darna, and that's how Darna was created. According to Mars Ravello, Darna was inspired by her mom. Superman and Captain Marvel, though she was always compared to Wonder Woman. Now that you know who Darna is, let's focus to the drawing, and watch me suffer. Sorry I didn't able to record the first part. My stupid ass forgot to click record. Anyways, I'm just going to explain it. First, I roughly sketch the pose without any details, using airbrush. Then. I lower the opacity to 30% and add another layer. On the new layer, I roughly sketch again but added details, such as face and other body parts. Anatomy was actually the hardest thing for me to study, but I keep searching for references whenever I drew half body or full body characters. If I can't find any on the internet, I capture and use myself as reference. A lot of beginner artists think that referencing is bad, but actually, it will help you a lot. After I sketch the pose with details, I add another layer, and hide the layer of the first sketch. On the new layer, that's where I drew the clothes, hair and other accessories. I'm still using the airbrush at this point. Now for the inking part. I merged the sketch for the pose and clothes, hair and accessories, then I lower the opacity to 40%. I add another layer, and that's where I ink the sketch. I used textured brush, but you can also use default brush. I just want to give some flavor that's why I use textured brush. Keep flipping your canvas to check if the proportions are correct. I keep flipping my canvas while inking, but I didn't include it to the video, because it will mess your head.
thick lines for the outside lines, and thin lines for some details to add dimensions. It will also help to make the artwork more interesting, and less boring. Now for the coloring. First I change the color of the canvas into more neutral tone. It will help me to identify the true value of each color that I will put. I add another layers below the outline for the skin, clothes and hair. For her skin I gave her the morena kind of moment. Though she's an alien entity from planet Marte, I still want to give her that Filipina glow. Though I changed her costume a little bit, I didn't change the colors of it, so it is still recognizable. There's a different layers for each color, so it will be easier for me to render later on. After I put all the base colors, I lock each layers so when I render, 
I will not worry to paint over other layers. Now for the rendering. This is where everything comes to life. You can add dimensions by just adding shadows and highlights. I don't really know how to explain it, so forgive me. Remember, I'm an artist, not a teacher. Just kidding. Anyways, look at the background. I colored it blue, thinking it will complement her warm palette. It will be changed later on though.
Here's the finished product. I told you I will change the background. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. Comment if you have suggestions, what I should draw next. Bye bye. Have a great day. Hit that like button, subscribe, and push that notification bell, or else, 